um, I think for people watching the show, um, especially around our age group, they it sort of breaks that barrier. That because that, a lot of people, especially me, when I first started, I was like, I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. I don't know if I'm going to get on stage and talk Shakespeare and do it to an audience. So I think with a similar age group watching it, it gives them it gives them the confidence that people around their age can do Shakespeare. Um, I believe that the children that saw us do the performance would gain. Um, the ability to focus a lot more because Shakespeare is quite um, hard to get around the language and his terminologies and stuff like that so I think they understand that through action you can t like you don't have to understand it so much but the actors on stage have to over articulate and over react so that they understand what's going on in the plot so that helped both the audience and us to learn how to act um. <laughs> What I've discovered from this uh, thing is that I like younger audiences because their minds aren't as developed and they really like <laughs> they react in a good way and I find it funny. <laughs> um, I think it helps um, the kids to have more confidence when they speak about Shakespeare. Um, I think that young people that we perform to will get out of this that they actually have the realisation that Shakespeare isn't boring because mm. especially as um, A Midsummer Night's Dream is a comedy and the reactions that we got from it um, were obviously laughed off. They can actually see that they can understand it through the actions we make and also the way we talk.